guys welcome to our SHIS assistant youtube channel as usual i have prepared a tutorial for you which help mostly special analysis in arcgis so join until the end of this video and enhance your knowledge regarding attribute join and special join okay these are the administrative gn divisions of a particular area and by opening attribute table of this gn division layer you will be able to see the names of those gn divisions and also this point feature class name patient location shows the number of patients who are suffering from kind of disease first of all i am going to do the spatial join part to do the spatial analysis of spread of patient through this area we can clearly get an idea about spread of patients location by spatially joining these two feature classes to do that right click on this gn division layer then click on join and relates then click on join here the first option what do you want to join to this layer should be select as join data from another layer based on spatial location here the first one choose the layer to join to this layer should be select as patient location and check whether the each polygon will be given a summary of numeric attributes of the points that fall inside it should be tick on and you can change the output name from here and browser folder then click on save then click on ok now you will be able to see a new spatially join feature class has been created as join output if you open the attribute table of this new feature class you will be able to see number of patients location points existing inside the gn divisions are automatically calculated in this count column now we have joined the spatial locations of two selected feature class to continue the analysis i am going to join some attributes for this new feature class I have population data of this area in a CSV file format. Here you can see the GN name and population data shows in this file. Now I am going to join the population attribute into our dataset. Here we can use the GN name column as the key field to join the attributes because the name column is same in both this CSV file and a special join feature class. You can right click on this new feature class then click on joins and relate then again click on join in here the first option what do you want to join to this layer should be select as join attributes from a table then choose the field in its layer that the join will be based on should be select as gn name gn column because this column consists with the gn names as the key field then choose the table to join this layer or load the table you can browse the folder location of the file then click on add after that you can choose the field in the table to do the join on can be select as gn name then the join options i'm going to keep all the records then click on ok now by opening the attribute table of this join output feature class you will be able to see the population data column has joined to the feature class then you can symbolize this feature class to enhance the patient's count with respect to the population of those areas you can symbolize the feature class by right click on this join output feature class then go to properties here you can select the symbology tab then go to charts here i am going to select the chart as pie chart because pie chart represent the amount of data to the end user clearly here i am going to select the field as count and this population data then you can change the colors of this count feature class i am going to select a red color for this count and i am going to select green color for population data then click on apply okay i think it's better to represent these charts with a 3d look so you can change the symbol properties again go to properties here you can select the symbol properties and i am going to change the orientation as geographic and tick on display in 3d you can change the 
tilt of the symbol appropriately then click on ok you can change the symbol size also click on size here I am going to select the variation type as vary using a field and the field should be selected as population and I am going to change the symbol as into 25 then click on ok again click on apply ok now the end user can clearly get an idea about population density and patient's density by observing the different size of symbols if you want to calculate the patient percentage with respect to population and display it as a label to calculate the patient's percentage open the attribute table of this join attribute go to table option then click on add field here i am going to add the field for the percentage then the data type should be changed as double then click on ok here you can apply a field calculator for this field by right click on this column then click on field calculator then i am going to type a equation as count divided by population this should be multiplied by 100 then click on ok now we can change the numeric format into percentage by right click on this column then click on properties here the numeric should be changed as percentage and click again on numeric option then the number of decimal places should be reduced into 2 then click on ok click again on apply ok then you can label the percentage field by right click on this feature class go to properties and browse the labels tab you can tick on label feature in this layer and the label field should be changed as percentage and you can change the symbol size and symbol color appropriately then click on apply ok after that you can export a meaningful map including all the marginal information and other relevant information you can follow my previous tutorial for more techniques of preparing a map layout, leave your comments regarding this video and practice the methods by using the sample data which I have uploaded with the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe us.